hello guys in this part we are going to learn about how to list out the Bluetooth pair devices on an Android device so here I already created a project here I already created a project called the pair list and here I already added a button whenever the user click the button it will uh, it will it will start a new activity and that activity will list out all the list out all the paired devices on your phone so for for that I just create a new activity so create a new Java class and uh, name it as pair pairing pairing list pairing list and now browse for the super class and browse for the super class for that class here the super class is activity so choose activity okay now click ok and click finish now we got that class that extends that activity class okay now we have to create the layout for this new activity so right click the layout folder and create a new android xml file and choose other option and choose the android xml file and i name it as i name it as pairing list I name it as pairing list and name it as pairing list layout. I name it as pairing list layout and choose the relative layout for that for that layout and click finish. Now we got the layout for the new activity. Now go to the pairing list dot java class file. Now override the on create method. Override that on create method. Now we have to set the content view for that layout. Content view for this new activity. So set content view. Set content view. R dot layout R dot layout dot that layout name so the layout name is pairing list layout okay save the save the project now go to the layout here I'm going to add a list view for listing for list out the paid devices paid Bluetooth devices so here I'm going to add a list view. So choose the list view option. First I have to provide an ID for the list view. So choose the Android ID option and choose the at plus ID. And I name it as list ID. List view ID. Now we have to set the layout for the list view. So first we have to set the Android layout width. I, I name it as I give it as match parent. So the layout width for the list view is match parent. Now set the height of the list view. Android layout height. I will make it as wrap content now save it now we add a new list view on the newly created layout newly created layout okay now go to the main activity dot java file now go to the manifest file here we we need to add the new activity on the manifest file so I just copy that activity paste it here <coughs> provide name for the activity here the name of the newly created activity is pair pairing pairing list pairing list now provide an intent filter name for the newly created activity here I provide the intent filter name as intent filter name as pair pair filter 
okay it is not a launcher activity it is a default activity so to change the category as a default okay now we successfully add the new activity on the android manifest.xml file now go to the main activity again now here we need to add a button so add a button create an object for the button you need to import button here import button now we have to connect the button into the id of the layout using find view by id method so bn equal to find view by id r dot id dot that id for the button is button 1 provide it button 1 so it's an object you need you need to cast it here here the object type is button so cast it into button button okay now create the action listener for the button so bn dot set on click listener set on click listener new view dot on click listener okay now we got the on click method here you need to import some package so import the on click listener package okay so the first step you need to check whether the device support bluetooth or not so we need an object of bluetooth adapter here so create an object of bluetooth adapter and name it as b adapter and name it as b adapter so the first step is to check whether the device support bluetooth or not so b adapter b adapter equal to b adapter equal to bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter using the method called get default adapter it will return an object if that bluetooth if that device support bluetooth if not it will return null so we have to check it so if b adapter is null that means there is no bluetooth adapter found on the device if b adapter is null so provide an information to the user using a touch touch dot make text get the base context and provide a text provide an information here no bluetooth no bluetooth device found no bluetooth device found okay now provide length for the toast provide a duration for the toast toast dot uh, length long and make the toast visible using the show method using the show method okay so on the else part that means the device has bluetooth so we have to first check if the bluetooth is already on or not so here i am going to start an under if loop if if not if not b adapter dot b adapter dot is enabled is enabled it will return true if the bluetooth is already on return false if the bluetooth is not already on okay now if the bluetooth is not on now we have to start the bluetooth and i we have to start the bluetooth so we not we need an integer value called a request code so so we have to uh, invoke the bluetooth adapter using start activity for result so you need another variable an integer variable called a request code i initialize it with one so here i am going to start an indent object for starting the bluetooth so intent i equal to new intent new intent call that plus called the bluetooth adapter bluetooth adapter dot action 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 request enable bluetooth adapter dot action request enable okay we need to import intent here now you can start the bluetooth adapter using start activity for a result start activity for a result and provide the indent object here the indent object is i and here the request code is request code provide that variable name okay 
now we successfully start the Bluetooth so you need to create a method called on activity result if it will if it get a result okay we successfully uh, successfully switch on Bluetooth so here you need to create that method called uh, on activity result public void public void on activity result on activity result there are three arguments for this method first argument is the request code int request code second argument is the result code result code and final argument is a data object called indent object okay and then data so first we have to check the request code matching for the request code so we have to check that first if if request code if the argument request code is same as the available on this class called request code if request code equal to request code so now we have to check bluetooth devices on or not if it is successfully turned on it will return a result ok otherwise it will return a result cancelled so if a result code equal to result ok if a result code equal to a result ok that means Bluetooth is now turn on and provide an information to the user using a toast so start a toast here toast don't make text get base context now provide a text bluetooth successfully turned on bluetooth hmm? successfully bluetooth successfully turned on provide a duration for the toast toast dot make it as long now okay now we have to get the paired list so we need another object here called uh, so we need a list object for getting the paired bluetooth devices so I create an available a set available here set set it is of type bluetooth device so provide that also bluetooth device and provide available name I provide the available name as paired name it, name it as paired devices paired devices is a set of type bluetooth device okay so now we have to get all the paired bluetooth devices to the to that list so paired devices equal to using the bluetooth adapter object b adapter dot get bounded devices using the method called the get bounded devices this method will return all the uh, this method will return all the paired devices bluetooth paired devices on that particular device into that list object called the paired device here is a warning is present okay you have to make the toast visible using show method that is the warning using the show method you have to make that toast visible that is the warning here okay now we got all the devices on the list called the pair devices okay now I am going to get all the pair devices into a string array from this list now I am going to convert all the all the bluetooth bounded devices from the list to a string array so I have to initialize a string array here so 
declare a string array string string p list is a string array string p list now I have to get all the pair devices into this string array so first I have to get the count of the pair devices so we need to initialize that particular string array using this count so I using a method called uh, size this will return the total number of devices pair devices available on that particular device also create a variable initialize a variable with value 0 and here start a for each loop for here I start a for each loop for and provide a variable here that is of type bluetooth device I name that variable as a device provide a colon here and provide that list object here here the list object is paired devices paired devices ok now I have to assign a very device name into that particular string array called uh, p list so p list of j equal to p list of j equal to device p list of j equal to device ok there is something error surplus and, and increment the value of j plus increment the value of j variable j here something some errors are occur so the variable name is device 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 that is correct what is it ok you need to convert it into string so sorry sorry that is another method called uh, get device name so get the name method using that method called the get name method and change it into a string value so string ok now it is ok also there is a there is a ok also there is a warning is here we use the ok we not initialize that particular string array so p list equal to p list equal to new string you need to initialize that particular string array here we initialize that particular string array using the number of devices available on that particular device ok so now we got all the paired devices on that particular string array ok now I am going to pass this string array into a bundle object so create a bundle object here bundle bn equal to new bundle just create an object of bundle class now I set put that particular string array into this bundle object so using the method called uh, put string array and provide a key for that particular value here I give it as pairs and provide value here the value is that particular string array called the uh, p list ok now we have to pass this to the second activity so for that we need an intent object so intent i equal to I give it as intent i n equal to new intent new intent here the intent object intent filter name is so go to the manifest file we need to check it first go to the manifest file here the second activity intent filter name is pair filter ok pair filter is the intent filter name now come back to the main activity here the indent filter name is pair filter pair filter now we can start that particular activity so start activity start activity before we need to add that particular bundle object into the indent indent object so put x class using the method called a put x class provide that bundle object name here the bundle object name is bn ok now we can start that particular second activity so start activity start activity here the indent object name here the indent object name is in ok now we successfully start the second activity now go to the second activity
here is the second activity layout here we add a list view called uh, that id is list view id so first we have to create an object of list view here list view l view you need to import list view now connect the list view object to that particular id available on the layout so l view equal to find view by id method find view by id hard dot id dot that list view id is list view id okay now you here it is a it's a it is an object so you need to cast it into list view so list view okay now you need to need a string array before we have to catch that bundle object so bundle we need to catch the bundle object from the indent available here so bundle bn equal to first go the indent get indent method now get the extras available on that particular indent so we got the bundle object here here also i start the string array i name it as pairs it's so a string array so now we have to get the string array available on the bundle into that particular variable called the pairs so pairs equal to b and dot space equal to b and dot get string array and provide the key for the string array here the key is pairs okay now you need an array adapter object for assigning this value to a list view assigning this string array into a list view so we need an array adapter object here so array adapter array adapter it is of type string it is of stripe type string i name it as adapter adapter okay now you need to initialize that adapter array adapter so adapter equal to new array adapter new array adapter so of type string Okay, you need to initialize that particular array adapter so type is of type string and provide the first argument this and provide the second argument as android dot android android dot r dot layout layout dot symbol list view one symbol list item one okay now provide the source for the array adapter here the source is that particular string array called the pairs okay now we successfully add the initialize the adapter array adapter so now we need to uh, add the array adapter into the list view using set adapter method so l view dot set adapter using the method called the set adapter and provide that array adapter a name okay now we successfully complete the coding so now one one more thing you need to add you need to add the permission for using the bluetooth so go to the manifest file you need to add a permission for using the bluetooth available on that particular device so use permission use permission provide the permission name and throw it name and throw it name equal to Android dot permission dot Android dot permission dot so the permission name is Bluetooth Android dot permission dot Bluetooth okay successfully add the permission name now I complete uh, complete the coding for that particular project now you need to check it out on a real device so you need to obtain the apk file so just run the project and go to the bin folder 
from the bin folder you get the uh, you will get the corresponding apk file okay here here is the apk file here this pair list dot apk copy this and run it on a real device thank you for watching